is the install video for the Hellcat Pro magwell and extensions. So this is our magwell for the Hellcat Pro. Uh, first thing to know is that it will uh, make some slight marks on your frame. So if you're not um, into that, then uh, you might not want to attach a magwell onto it. But the marks um, need to be there in order for it to actually bite on and hold. Uh, because there's no good area to actually put a plug or something to actually attach and fix to the frame, uh, that's probably why there aren't any Hellcat Pro magwells out there right now. Uh, but this will, um, you can see the teeth there in front, this will kind of bite onto the front there and then we put a set screw in the back that will bite onto the back and that's the um, the marks you're seeing in the back. So first thing to do is put it onto the front so where it's all the way down and it gets the teeth above that bump that comes out. Um, in the magwell there's a relief cut inside there for that bump to go in and then a ledge with the teeth on there for it to go up over that bump. So put that all the way down, make sure it's lined up nice and straight, and then pull back and over the back of the frame. Make sure that it is down all the way. It's nice and even across where it meets up with the frame in there. Um, this one has been on and off a few times, so it was probably a bit easier than most will be the first time putting it on because those teeth have already dug into this frame and got on there already. Um, then you'll take our set screw and start to feed it into the hole. Um, once it gets to where it actually touches the frame, you want to make sure that you're holding the frame down as tight as you can so that um, the set screw as it starts to kind of dig into the frame a little bit doesn't push the magwell up. So hold it down nice and tight. Tighten this set screw down in there until it bottoms out and it's underneath the surface of that. Um, check it really good that the front in the back that there isn't a big gap in the back and check here too that this mating surface here that there's no big gap there this looks pretty good um, we will check it with the mags but if you do have a big gap in there um, bring the set screw out re-hold it down and try to put it back in um, try not to do that too many times because as that set screw goes in it does you know uh, gouge the material and kind of push it away and so on and off too many times could actually wear out the material there to where the set screw won't hold and so in that case then you'd need to either you know build the material back up with some soldering iron or something or um, it might not hold good anymore but as it is now it's nice and tight um, it uh, you know, if you pull way too hard, hit it on something really hard or something, um, there is a potential that, that those teeth could pull the material down. So you really don't want to, you know, yank on it as hard as you can, but it is nice and strong for your grip. It's not going anywhere. The um, magazines, the newer Hellcat Pro comes with a 15 round and a 17 round which is 17 round is just a 15 round mag with a plus two on it. Um, the springs in the 17 round mags are longer though because they have the plus two on there. So you push with a small screwdriver or tool or something, push that plate down and then slide the extension off forward and then take the locking plate off like that. Um, show you the base plates that don't add any capacity have that spring right there push that in and then slide it forward off the mag and you'll notice that the two springs are different lengths um, 
our plus five does work with the 15 round spring um, that is a little bit shorter. It goes on, it's got enough tension that it does lock the slide back. Um, the first time, first couple rounds through the mag, or first couple mags through the gun, it wasn't locking back, but this was a brand new gun. It had probably only had um, 200 rounds through it before I tested these out. And the third mag through, it was locking back just fine with the plus five on these. So um, they do work. Um, this would work better with the plus five. This would work, you know, great with the plus two, but it also does work with the plus five with zero issues at all. So if you are having trouble locking back though with the plus five, I'd say lube up your gun really good. Let it work in a little bit and see how it does. Um, we are Loctiting the threads on the extension before sending them. The, um, talking to the people at Loctite, they said that Loctite, once you use it, you break the um, chemicals or whatever in the Loctite that actually harden it. So if uh, we were to Loctite it and put the screws in and then have you back them up, then what it would do is break the Loctite after it's sealed and so you'd have to reapply Loctite. So if we put it in the holes first and then have you put the screws in the holes, then that activates it as you're installing your magazine. So you'll take it, um, put it in the hole, turn to the left first until you feel it drop, and then thread it in. You don't want to thread it all the way down to the bottom of the hole. You just want to get to where it is underneath the surface here so that you don't have to thread it out quite as far when you put the extension on the mag. Same thing, this side. Just below the surface. And the plus two, do the same thing. When we send these, the, the extensions will be in their own bags and the wrench and screws will be in a separate bag so that they're not uh, scratching up the surface or anything. Make sure you try to put the screw in the hole that doesn't have a screw yet. Just below the surface. Um, what I do is check the extension first. Make sure that they are below the surface. That way you don't have any issues when you have uh, spring touching. See that one's not one to go on, so one of these is sticking up a little bit still. There we go. Make sure when you put your follower and spring back in that they are facing the correct way. The, um, so one thing, disassembling these, our normal magazines or our other um, extensions because the springs are the same all the way, we've never had an issue with just sliding them off but because these springs are kind of wonky and they go wide to narrow wide to narrow um, it seems that the wide to narrow bit is right there at the edge when you're trying to take the extension off on both the plus five and plus two it's weirdly at just the right spot to where it doesn't want to slide off easy and so what you'll need to do in order to remove the extension once you have it on. So installing first, push it all the way down and the plus five will slide in from the back. Um, 
and then you'll just back those screws out to the surface there. But in order to remove it, once you um, have it all done, you'd you know just thread the screws back down a little bit and then start to push it forward. And right there is where it catches. It does not want to come off any more than that. Um, so take a flathead screwdriver, grab that spring, and just push it down best you can to where it um, goes underneath that surface a little bit and then you can push it further and the spring in there will twist a little bit and then pop back into place. Strings, spring is nice and straight still um, so the plus five and plus two is the same way that they do get caught like that so if you do need to take your magazine apart that is how you would do it but to finish the install process push that spring all the way down in there make sure you are good and lined up flat across there when I first had it, the, this side was up a little bit and on top of that ledge. So I'm gonna make sure that's not like that. Push it all the way forward. Take the wrench and um, you'll make sure it is good and tight into that hole. If you don't have it, you know, good and deep in there, what you can do is if the screw is a little bit tight, it'll start to wear the um, teeth on the head of the screw and you don't want that to happen because that'll wear out that small screw um, and then it'll be difficult to take off. That's one, two, three, four. So when you have that screw just under the surface, about four turns gets it just underneath that surface there so that it's nice and protected in there and um, not going to be able to get hit by anything. Same thing with this one. One, two, four. So it's nice just underneath that surface, but it's nice and protected there. Then um, I'll actually put this one on the 15 rounder just because this has a little bit more spring tension. Um, these are made the same way that the stock one is. It has that little ramp that hooks a spring instead of a locking plate like uh, most other magazines use. The Hellcat and the Echelon, at least, I haven't shot any other... Um, Springfield pistols, so I'm not sure what the rest of them are like, but they use that kind of locking system for their base plate. So to take it off would be the same, just stick a tool into that little hole to pop up the spring a little bit. Make sure you hold down your springs so that they don't go flying as you're disassembling. You don't lose anything. The plus two will go on from front to back. Unlike the plus five. And the reason being is that in order to get um, enough material or enough clearance from the back here to fit inside there because of the different angle of the way it attaches the material would be sticking up at an angle and so it would stick out further than the mag body than it does on here on here you can see I even had to cut a angled in surface in order to clear the back of that and uh, fit properly. So this um, mounting system, the if you are dropping the mags, it will put pressure onto the um, screw heads rather than the back of the extension itself. 
both work very well. Um, I'm not sure which one works better yet. We're still testing these out, doing torture tests and everything to figure out uh, what is what is the best. But um, these are different than our normal locking plates for the Echelon and the Hellcat Pro. We're trying this new system out in order to um, have a little bit more robust for people that like to drop on concrete and stuff. We've been dropping our mags in gravel and hard dirt for over 10 years and haven't had any issues. Um, but people dropping them on concrete does cause the mag body or the extension, our locking plate to start to wear out quickly. And the, um, the rails can start to also wear out. So we still don't recommend dropping on concrete, but this should, um, or this does give you more life out of the extension if you are going to be dropping them on concrete frequently. Um, so we're starting with the Echelon and Hellcat and going to see how they go over see the longevity of them after a long period of time and eventually we will um, start to transfer other models over that if this is truly better. So there is the Magwell for the Hellcat Pro. It is a nice seamless transition from Magwell to frame uh, working around those strange you know upper parts of the frame was difficult but we were able to get it figured out and not um, have a big lip in there that was able to you know stop your uh, magazine change there is a little bit of a gap there because of the tool i have to get in there in order to um, cut out that relief point but it is not big enough to actually catch anything and then it is nice and tight in the corner back there. So yeah, um, P2 